Hey guys, welcome back to Drip and Farm for Poverty. I'm your host, Drip Coach. And of course, let's jump right into it. Today is December 27th, and it's another weekly recap from yesteryear. Basically, flashback to last year, covering the last few videos um, from the end of the year. And ironically, we were in a much better place <laughs> with Trip, and uh, that's what we're going to talk about today. And um, I was slowly starting to unravel the web of lies and deceit and stuff in the ecosystem, but still, still drinking the Kool-Aid a bit. Um, haven't quite detached. I still was in belief that Forex would actually deliver um, in these videos. Basically, it's going to cover um, that the drip ui was still underway and we were still believing that it was coming and of course we knew that we know that now <laughs> was not the case so um the market was in one of these videos i think it was here i was talking about the market experiencing basically uh what raul powell was calling the bottom of the bear market and and what we have now seen as being the most brutal bear market that we have seen in crypto um with all of the uh, what do you call those? Not liquidations, but uh, collapses of like uh, the different bridges being hacked. Um, UST Terra Luna collapsed. Um, the other uh, centralized exchanges and the Sam Bankman Freed issue. Then now the thing with uh, CZ, um, even my NFT project with Tom Bilyeu, him settling with the SEC. So it was just brutal. Like they came in and slaughtered everything. Like we still don't have regulation. That's what this video was talking about is that we were supposed to get regular. No, actually it says we're gonna get regulation in 2024 is what I was talking about in this video. And I do believe we are headed for some regulation, um, especially with the uh, EFT, I'm sorry, ETF coming in the beginning of the year and 2024 being an election year. So all of that has lined up perfectly, ironically, from a year ago, that forecast from Ralph Powell. That's why I like listening to him. So. I was also talking about my portfolio. So even in this video, my portfolio I was only down about 60%, which was on par with, um, you can see here in the video, on par with the broader crypto um, yeah, network, I guess, would be a way to categorize it. Um, but that was because of still some hopium in the animal farm and things of that nature. But now my portfolio is wrecked by like 90 some odd plus percent. So drip was still down 99% from my portfolio, but it had balanced out a bit with dogs and pigs. But as of now, that has taken a drastic U-turn. Let's see. We uh, moved into video two and we we're talking about whale movements, basically. So next we examined the behavior of whales and it was crucial to understand how the market dynamics dictated their behavior. So back then it was all about the creation of new whales and their influence on the market. Um, and that was about Just using a quick network.ca and showing how a lot, a lot of new whales were being created due to the cheap price on drip. I think at this stage, drip was around 60 cents or something like that. And of course, it was still actually um, they allowed the compound. So that played a different role in the narrative than what we thought the drip network would be. And of course, we know that now to have changed. This was a huge spike in whale. Uh, claims, but we are still sitting at, I believe in this video, only 5 million drip in the, the total, in the contract total, total supply, sorry. If that's, uh, let me see if I can find that. I thought that was fascinating. I was like, really? Only 5 million drip? Uh, maybe it's in another video. We'll get there. But yeah, so this was basically just talking about uh, the whales and uh, how they would impact the ecosystem. And pretty much now anybody and everybody is a whale since now. Um, the prices are so cheap and we've seen how much people have claimed. So drip is now a meme token at best, but still has a huge community of support, even though a lot of community has tapped out. So that's also fascinating. Video three, we were talking about um, basically how the animal farm had fared and um, how to best support the drip price reservoir versus the uh, drip vault and sacrifices because sacrifice had just become a hot topic and that was the first time it had been introduced and there was a big um, push to sacrifice drip and um, I covered in that video and in this video if that was a scam or not and if you would be exit liquidity by adding drip to the tax vault and you can see in here yeah like two million uh, 2,000, sorry, 2,000 drip. 
in people's wallets at number 100 now it's insane where people are sitting at now it is dramatically shifted we look here at this video so this video i think was december 30th or something like that the pancake swap decks had just 2.4 million the faucet had 955,000, and the vault at 282,000. that is crazy in a year and uh what were we sitting at um total supply i think this is where it says 5 million Let's see if i can pull it up uh, it's got it gets clipped off but i think the total supply in this was just at 5 million or so i could look it up directly but i don't feel like it but it's fascinating to see how quickly this got out of hand with the inflation so you know it is a good thing that the inflation has been turned off but it's also a bad thing because a lot of us got screwed myself included in regards to the drip you thought you were going to get and how you were playing the game up until that point but now that the inflation has indeed been shut down all we can do is hope for the best going forward and like i said keep an eye out because if things turn around dramatically for the better i think forex will flip the switch and screw us all again so pay attention to your drip and the drip price and on that note <laughs> gotta pull this up because the this is just fascinating um again don't fall for where he's gaslighting so in here somebody asked this question or ray post rap drip is 63 cents on both chain rap drip is a different token isn't it the drip we have i'm definitely taking advantage of the dj gains watch my video in pins you can sell drip into rap drip and take advantage of the high prices watch my videos now i have to assume ray knows better so he's either gaslighting or he's really just not the sharpest knife in the drawer because you can't sell your tokens into a liquidity pool that has no liquidity and like in this image there's 400 dollars of liquidity so you're gonna one person's going to basically the sale wouldn't even go through due to slippage like depending on how much you had of course you can sell about 10 20 bucks whatever but uh, according to this rap drip is sitting at right now about fifteen thousand in liquidity and that's coming from pooled um wrap pls and wrap drip so <laughs> even if it's sitting at 60 cents which as of right now it's not um you're not going to be able to dump your tokens into that like there's not enough liquidity in there to even make this viable like you're looking at 253,000 wrap drip that is sitting over on pulse so that is a very 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 shallow and volatile uh pool so yeah you might be able to get you know a couple bucks you know 10 20 bucks or whatever the case may be you can nickel and dime it it's still an arbitrage opportunity but <laughs> the way that he's pitching this here you know take advantage of the high prices watch my videos it's just a charlatan again like taking advantage of people that don't know any better and giving them false hope they'll figure it out once they go over there and try to sell and it's like hey can't because of slippage but the it's just fascinating that this still continues and this person is still you know running a amok <laughs> in the drip chat now if this gets up to 160k you know 1.6 million yeah then we have something that we can definitely uh, arbitrage against and take some uh, potentially get some profits out of but as of right now that is a very very shallow pool and i think the bulk right now on the finance side wrap drip is sitting at maybe 1.5 million no they've got a two and a half so they're doing a bang up job but this is on the finance side so um I have no idea how many different places they have it and maybe only on pulse and arbitrum right now i don't know how much is sitting on arbitrum but the good thing about this is the more that gets in here then the more that's going to be coming out on the other side in different chains and the more that's sitting there across those different chains in different pools and in this bridge then the more that's locked up and then the um easier it is to move the drip price Remember, this is how the drip price is calculated. So this is the native DEX. So when we can get more of this out, 
if people start buying from there, then it becomes arbitrage opportunities off the of pancake swap, arbitrage opportunities over on the different bridges that it's at, and people might want to still gamble into the kitchen sink. So it's definitely moving in the right direction, but this is straight up lies and gaslighting because there's not enough liquidity to sell into that. So that was an update on where we were. And then I'll do another one sometime next week because um, I think this was where people were still delusional about their pigs they were getting. And now I think it's like 0 0.002 cents per pig. We'll find that out next week when I cover that. Um, still haven't heard anything else from Forex. I don't think we'll get anything before the end of the year. But at least, again, keeping up with the updates, letting you guys know what's going on. But uh, the bull run is definitely coming. So the we'll say by the second week in January, the crypto market should be all a buzz. And um, we'll see how that plays out. There could still be, as Garrett always says, a leg down due to selling the news event. But once if that happens and once that happens, then it's definitely a steady climb because we are into the having and into regulation and an etf approval so like short of like a black swan event in the, in the stock market crash and um then we're going straight not straight up but we're climbing out of this and we're leaving behind the lower 20s and teens of bitcoin which should theoretically be behind the low 200s of bnb and we start hopefully climbing back towards that 600 dollars bnb price that would be nice. I think Rao Paul gave um, ETH a five, almost $6,000 um, value later on this year, by the end of the year, going into 2025. That's pretty much a, like a one and a half X. Wait, I think the high was almost 4,000. So another 50% on top of that. And then BNB was 600. So we could get to $900 BNB. That would be awesome. All right. Anyway, I'm rambling. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed the holidays and hope this provides some value, some clarity, a little flashback, some PTSD on where Drip was. <laughs> but hopefully a little hopium that it's not dead yet, especially when you look at this. So this is positive. It's not a big dent in the total 192 million, but it's a start. All right, smash that HBO special. Help a brother out. Like, subscribe, comment down below. And until next time, lift daily and achieve your impossible. See you. Want to pay your in real life bills with crypto? How about send crypto directly to anyone with a bank account? Spritz Finance is a decentralized solution to be your own bank and connect your crypto earnings to real world bills and payments. They do not take custody of your assets and allow support on multiple blockchains and Web3 wallets. Sign up below using my referral link and you will get $50 back when you make your first $50 bill payment with crypto. Additionally, I will be using referral bonuses to airdrop, donate, or burn based on community feedback. Sign up now.